going to apologise in advance for the disgusting mess that is about to appear on your screens. And for once, I don't mean myself. This thing, this turd, this low point in Hoover and Bagless Technologies' career. I've had for ages. I can't fully remember where I Kate got it from. I thought it was the sort of rubbish that Mr. Parvaz would have given me, but no, he didn't give it to me, so I can only assume it came from the Brown Forum. So thank you very much. Whoever would have given me this, I assume, I wouldn't have paid any money for it, I hope. But it's very, very interesting because this isn't just any Hoover Pure Power. This is a Hoover Dust Managerless. This is where that joke comes from. These exact machines. <gasps> it's got the stupid badness box. I've wanted to cover one of these for ages. Literally, this is done. You could use your imagination in that machine. We'll check if it works, blah, blah, blah. This is interesting. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my demanding dusty chums. How are you today? Yeah, I, I, I assume somebody gave this to me once. I know I've had it a long time. It's certainly been in the shed for ages. And yeah, this is literally banned from the period. I wasn't really interested in new vacuum cleaners. I was, you know, at college and leaving college and picking up DCA ones from the tip at five pound a pop and breaking them, putting them together, learning for the next time, and that is why, 20 years later, I am like I am. There's nothing to it, nothing key, nothing special, just repetition. So, yeah, these parts me by. I knew they were pretty terrible. I knew they were pretty awful, you know, didn't really care much about it. But Mr James, you remember Mr James, who gives us such lovely machines to refurbish? Well, we were... Pen pals, I guess, way back when we were posting each other vacuum cleaners. I posted him a beautiful Hoover Sensortronic System 50 that we bought. My stepdad drove us an hour to go and fetch it from the newspaper. Everything, all the tools, 40 quid, swapped it for a Henry, blah, 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 swapped it around as kids. And he sent me a Hoover Discovery, which had this system in it. And we dated it for ages. I quite liked it. And I want to relive that misery. But we have to relive it in this package, this Hoover Pure Power. Sorry, Dust Managerless. So, yeah, let's have a look, really. I, I can't remember if I've ever turned it on, I'll be honest. It is fairly complete though, it's missing its wands, which is fine, they're just wands, whatever. It's got the two small tools which sit there, they're very nice, not been used too much. Yeah, it, it, it's all right really, it's very colourful, as Mr Bunting would say, I love the colour, oh, yes. Very good indeed. It's also got a very nice hose. I mean, you know, fair, fair enough, the actual bagless system is terrible. But this is a lovely hose. They've obviously got that crap by this point. Very nicely indeed. We'll take that off. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We shall investigate under here what type of filter do we have. Ah, well, we don't have the fancy HEPA filter. But I'll be honest, that's probably a good thing for this. It needs the dust to escape rather than hitting the brick wall of the HEPA filter because it's just so terrible. There's not really many other ways we're going to be able to put this, folks. It's, yeah, this wasn't a good design and it's why it didn't last very long. So, yeah, no, that's, that's reasonable so far. Oh, I mean, whatever, you sit in there. Yeah, the bagless box was a thing that they use for a while and yeah the dirt just comes in and there is no cyclone that please wash monthly is very optimistic i mean this one is disgustingly filthy and i remember oh let me grab a light on the discovery that it would visibly drop as you clean you know, my mum's old house with its old breaking up carpets well this was like 10 years before that yeah it just fills up and relies on this it's almost like structure foam. It's a pneumatic buff. It's almost like structure foam. I don't want to break it. It's a fibrous material. This is what the Turbo Power 2 bagless 
cassette system. It's all going morphed into, yeah, the dirt just comes into here, drops into there. Some of it is, it's weird because some of it does escape. As you can tell, this thing is filthy, but it doesn't matter. Like, what happens is that it stays in there. And I remember we had to soak the one that we had in the bath. You know, those of you who refurbish vacuums and do that, well, literally is one of those jobs. Pressure washer is probably the best way to clean those. They were awful. Um, yeah, filter, bless it, hanging in there, doing its very gosh darn best. I cannot blame it. Yeah, soon little buddy, soon. Oh, look, there you go. In order to maintain best performance, please wash dust manager, which is this, <laughs> and pre to filter and everything button. So if somebody obviously thought that this was the dust manager, this is where all those stupid TikTok crappy videos come from. People washing their entire vacuum cleaner like an idiot in the bath, oh, watch the dust manager in the bath. No, they are referring to that. That is the dust manager. It couldn't be more than terrible times before it if it tried. Right, let's have a look underneath. Well, as you'll probably notice, there is a bit of a gap. Yeah, I've never had a brush roller for this, so we need to fit one of those in a second, hopefully. Yeah, not broken. The wheels work. I've wheeled it up and down the laminate, and it doesn't have the pure power shuffle that they do when the axles get really worn. It's had its fair share of being used on concrete, but they all have, sir. What can you do? Let us undo oh, the two screws, which are still... No, one is missing. The one screw. Uh, anything living under here? This has been in the shed for so long. No, are we good? I think... Yeah, it, 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 it's sort of there, really. Does the spinny bit spin? Ooh, yeah. 1500 watt electricity spinner is this one. Now, the next question is, am I right in hoping that this brush roll will fit? Yeah, because I, I don't even know where I got that from. I've just had it for ages. So the next thing that we need to do is have a look in here. I thought I'd show you my belt box, you know, I'm grabbing belts of Bartons. We all were, because what you can then do is go through it and just find something that should maybe fit. Look, I've still got lots of brush strips to sort through. Uh, do, do. And hopefully, somewhere in here, if I have a rummage, there should be something to fit. And just like that, we have genuine Hoover. It's for a Hurricane, V29 Hurricane. However, the V29 and indeed the Hurricane were themselves the pure powers. So this should just be... Oh, oh my goodness, come on. This should just be a pure power belt. A bit of fluff in there. We'll get that off while we're in here. Pop our belt actually onto the spindle first because this is going to be tight. Hopefully I can do it this way around. And again, these, these spin really well, which is great for the carpet, but not so great when you're trying to line it up. As you can see, look, I've done that wrong. It's not in properly. So you need to stop, lift, and do it again. This is easier when you're facing it. I, I, I can't lie. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Ha, in. Spinny, spin, spin. Oh, this is going to be good, folks. This is... Well, hopefully, again, we can turn it on and it could explode on us yet. Oh, I mean, that is always a legitimate concern. Let's check that bit out. I mean, anybody would think that I've had this machine for so long, I've half thought about spares, although that belt was lucky. I, I hadn't got that belt in. The brush roll was all we had. Right, we are turned off. Let's plug in. No sparks immediately, which is great. <gasps> Ready? Contact. Good. And we have very good airflow. That must mean that the bagless box isn't completely clogged. That is why these machines literally went up to like 2,500 watts. It was purely to try and overcome the box filling up and killing the airflow. Oh, bless them. Oh, dear. Oh. <sighs> it's a pure power, so, yeah, we're okay there, but... Ah. Ah. And I've got shoes on, so I can push it more. Yeah, who knows. But hopefully, 
we can dust manage the carpet. And actually, this rug has a lot of dust in it. And I'm sure you noticed when we test this stuff on it. And this way is where the pile is. And we have a worn activator brush roll in it. Working all right. I say working, it's running. I wonder, I can get the hose out. The hose all needs sorting out, it keeps falling down. If we take this off, and we're not going to have any suction, but the poor thing should, in fact, we can, the poor thing should sound a lot better. It's transformed, bless it. Oh, this is where I really wish I had an airflow meter. Oh, this is my baby app. Please pick up a scrap one of these so you can see how terrible they are. And tell us all. Oh, you can hear it in the motor. You can feel it in the suction. Yeah, it's not a happy banana at all. But it runs. And that's about all we can ask for. I'm going to click. There we go. The hose does click on there, which, yeah, you need to do. Oh, next thing is going to need a refurb for sure. motor sounds fine, brush roll sounds fine, there was the pages with of carbon for about 30 seconds, all gone. The most egregious noise is the wheels. This is how you get the pure power wobble. The pure power wobble, which we can demonstrate very quickly over here, ignore my kid's tent, is when the axles start to wear out. And if you push it on a hard floor and it shimmies side to side, this one's okay, but Oh, the, maybe the faintest murmur means that that's fine, but if it's literally doing that as you go along a smooth floor, yeah, you need new wheels, and they're getting quite difficult to find. Luckily, this one's okay, but I need some wands, and I can't promise I'm really going to care about getting those. It's not bad. I think it is a good scrub and a good wash-up, and maybe we'll give it a whole house clean or something and see how bad this bagless box gets. Of which I suppose we've cleaned the rug now. Let's see. Oh, it's just thicker. I mean, you can tell just from opening it. That there's, yeah, that's picked up a lot. Then it all sits in there, and you've got to literally wash it out. It doesn't really scrape off. Oh, it's a, yeah, didn't last very long, did it? And for good reason at all. Again, that is probably the killer for most of these machines. And why did everyone go back to bags when they resurrected the design for the Enigma and the Evo and all of that tribe? But we have this tribe, so it works, I guess. That's in its favour. It can live, and hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be looking a lot smarter, because it is very pretty in its translucent blue. So tell me what your experiences were with the dust manager bagless system, and yeah, did you have one of these when they were new? Because yeah, the actual discovery was quite nice. I love the turbo brush on it. I remember it span well, even when this was really noticeably bad on the old suction. The turbo brush span well enough. I'd like another one one day. But we have this, this is all right. Brush roll's a bit worn, bit of a shame, but it's gonna be okay. So until the next time, I and this dust manager bagless system will see you soon. Bye-bye.